Hello once again and welcome to my DIY desk. This is going to be a short video where I will share with you uh, what I found as a very effective alternative to the usual laser engraving on how we label and backlight the face of a curry button. As you can see here, we have uh, pieces of 2 millimeter translucent white acrylic pre-cut into 16 by 16 squares uh, I don't know if that's the actual measurement but uh, based on some technical specs the actual face of a overhead quarry is actually 16 by 16 uh, so let's get started so our first step is to have the labels ready. You can uh, create the labels using your favorite program. I use Inkscape. Uh, my UV printer shop requires the file to be in PostScript line art, so I saved my labels as a EPS file. Of course, you can use any of your favorite program like Adobe Illustrator or CorelDRAW, as long as it saves to a format that is supported by your local UV printers. The font I used is Arial Rounded BT. I think this is a default font for Windows. Or you can use any other font out there that has a very close resemblance to the actual Airbus Quarry switches. So straight from the printer, one thing is immediately noticeable. They look a little too glossy for my taste and there's a bit of texture on the surface. So to solve this problem, I use a matte clear coat spray, which is also polyurethane. So this is the matte clear coat that I use from Do It. It's a polyurethane. It is important to be about 30 cm so that you get the mist, not the droplets. I mean, not the uh, coarse drops. So we do it on the other side. Again, some uh, gentle horizontal strokes. So this is how they look now after two coats. This is a very quick drying polyurethane. Within two or three minutes, you can apply the second coat already. Now look at how they look like. Pretty much like a gun metal. So after the uh, matte clear coat, this is how they look like. Uh, much better than how they look originally which is very glossy so what about the sides they have to be black as well right so backlight and bleed off the sides so there are two ways we can do this so while while the protective paper is still on one way you can do is uh, use a good quality marker such as this one and just manually paint the sides two or three coats or you can lay them off together on 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 a board and use a matte black spray paint the same way i apply the clear coat after which you can peel off one side to receive the uv print So next question is how do we attach this on the face of the quarry? Now that will depend on your quarry design. 
uh, for my case, I'll just use a CA glue to fix this on top of the inner piece of the curry. Uh, using a CA glue, I use this brand or this brand. This is a this is a rather stronger uh, type. You have to be careful to use this because uh, you only have one or two seconds when the two surfaces meet. You will not be able to adjust it because it's very, very quick drying and uh, very strong. This brand, however, uh, it gives you some time to readjust, realign the pieces before it cures. Uh, you have about, you have a window of about uh, maybe five, five, six seconds before this thing actually holds up. In my case, I don't need a lot of it because anyway, you push the button. That's the only physical uh, movement you need to do on the, on the face of the button. There's no motion that will slide it uh, left or right or top or but, uh, down. So in my case, uh, this uh, short, very tiny spot drops works. Okay, let's do it. Right, so as you can see, the Scotch brand actually allows you to adjust it. You have to do it quick because you have about five, six, or maybe seven seconds to to move the thing until it dries up, and you cannot move it anymore. That's it guys, I hope you enjoy watching the video. If you find this useful, it helps to like and subscribe, help the channel. I hope this can help you in your projects and uh, thank you for watching, see you on the next video.